Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today we are ministering to 10 people. Uh, next to me is Kimberly, and she is faithful and she blesses me and helps me uh, with the ministry, so that's that's wonderful for me. Um, we're going to minister to 10 people. If you'd also like to receive ministry in this format, please write your name in the comments and we would minister to you. And uh, I'm so happy yesterday evening when we ministered to people, uh, I got about 30, was a little bit over 30 names, so yeah, a little bit over 30 names. And and I also in the comments of videos, I also had about almost an, probably another 20 names. So we got 50 people that we can minister to and that makes me so very happy. All right, awesome. So if you also want to receive Ministry, I'll just put your name in the list and I'll, I'll go down the list. So I'll, you, I'll, I'll also in the comments just write you the date so you know when, when you fall down on the list. The first person I want to minister to is Joanna. Joanna, Amy gave me your name to put on the list. Um, so she asked me, please dad, can you minister to this lady? And so um, I was praying for you and the Lord showed me that he has made you very creative. I saw a tree that's full of fruit and it's not only the fruit of the Holy Spirit that people come and experience the love and the joy and the peace of God that's on you. But I also uh, felt creativity, uh, kindness, uh, leadership, anointing, a lot of giftings and talents that God has placed in your life. And I feel the Lord says, I'm taking you also through my fire where I can purify you because I want to set you in a place of authority. I want to raise you in a place of leadership. And so that's why I've given you all of that talents, but I've also uh, taken you through this time of purifying you and growing your character so that you can stand as a righteous leader in my kingdom. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Cindy. Cindy, the Lord shows me how, how you are breaking open the ground and how you were just building a well for the glory of God just to continuously overflow and continuously um, pour out. I just hear the Lord saying, be obedient, have that, that heart of obedience to the Lord where he says, um, start digging, start, start pouring out like your time into this well that it can overflow. And I really see this is this is like a community project that the Lord is giving to you that get people and pray that where you are that this well will be will be formed and will be dug. Be blessed. Okay, Cindy, uh, the Lord showed me a tree growing up and up and up uh, towards the Lord, but now the Lord is giving you more responsibility, like a tree where the branches is going to the sides, you know. And sometimes what they do, they trim the branches of the tree at the top, and then it kind of. Um, encourages the tree to, to grow wider and provide more shadow. Mm -hmm. And so in the Bible, there's a story about uh, the shade of Peter that healed the sick. And so the Lord is also our covering. Uh, we stand underneath his wing. And I felt that the Lord says that authority and that uh, spiritual anointing to cover people and to stand with them and to pray for them and to encourage them, that anointing the Lord is releasing on your life. And I just see wider and more responsibility and more anointing to function in his kingdom. God bless you. The next word is for April. Okay, so April, the Lord gave me the word acceleration. 2025 acceleration and so the Lord is going to increase the speed in your life and then with your finances the Lord showed me consistent growth all right, now I know a lot of people are asking God please give me just a, a breakthrough and just pour out the resources but I just see growth and then more growth and more growth and consistency and as you are faithful and you consistently put uh, put the the input the lord is going to increase that stream and that flow of resources in your life and the more that resources flow the more you're also going to see other areas in your life uh, where there's going to become a, a, an overflow and you're a very generous person you're a very loving and kind person and so when the resources in your life increase then the kindness of God and the love that flows out of your life is going to exponentially increase. God bless you, April. Amen. Next word is for Bridget. Bridget, the Lord shows me how he wants you to, to expand your creativity, to allow yourself to be creative and to make something. Like something like in the arts, whether it is whether it is, whether it is um, like dance or, or, or I can really see like painting. The Lord wants you to, to just to create something. 
and that I feel like that's going to teach you to connect to the Lord, to 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 like like connect to like the mind of Christ. When you connect to that creativity, you connect to His wisdom, to His ideas. And at first, it's like a picture that the Lord wants you to 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 paint on. But then it grows to a project that the Lord wants you to create. So I just see tap into the creativity of the Father. Be blessed. Bridget, uh, the Lord shows me that you are on a path of uh, transition. And so it's, it's almost as if you wanted to stop on this path and you wanted to minister to people and you wanted to camp out. But I felt that the Lord says, now is not the time to stop. Now is not the time to rest. Now is the time to continue with the transition until I establish you in a new place where I plant you and you grow and you continue to be a blessing to people around you. But I felt that the Lord says, this is not now a time to say, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wonder. The Lord has given you a clear direction. He's given you clear commands. So just be obedient and you'll see how the Lord will then bring you into a new place and, and plant you, establish you in that new place where you can be a blessing to everyone around you. Bridget, the Lord loves you very, very much and you've also been a blessing to Unity with Heaven. So the next person I want to minister to is Nareen. Okay, so Nareen, the Lord showed me a, a, a runway, like an airport runway, okay? And I felt that you started to pick up speed, but the runway is running out. And so the Lord says, it is time to launch. And then I saw how the wings on the side of you have these beautiful airfoils. And as the, the wind came underneath the airfoils, it pushed the airplane up and the airplane started to fly before the runway uh, was finished. And I felt what the Lord was saying is that He is teaching you how to walk according to the Spirit. And the Lord will open up a way and He will pick you up so that you can soar like an eagle with Him. He's going to strengthen you. He's going to help you to run and to accelerate so that you can come to the right speed and the right altitude. Now the altitude, especially in the realm of the Spirit, has to do with the connection with God, hearing Him, walking in the Spirit, uh, allowing the Lord to fight the battles on your behalf. And I see how the Lord is just raising you up in that way. Uh, one of the easiest things that you can do is just to humble yourself before the Lord and take and, and give over control. So that He gives you commands and you you obey what he, the instructions that He gives to you. And then you're going to see how you're going to rise up with the, the Holy Spirit of God lifting you up. God bless you, Nareen. Amen, Nareen. Please give us a comment. This next word is for uh, Lisa. The Lord shows me how you must plug in, that you must connect with His plan for you now. The Lord says that I have a, a plan and a purpose for you right now, where you are, where He has placed you. And, and the Lord says that I don't want you to, to think about over there or over there or the past. Um, but also the Lord shows me he wants you to be where you are now but also while you are there now while you are preparing the now you are almost preparing the future so I, I really see how the Lord says be where you are and, and be there and just tap in to the Lord and 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 just start to make things happen the Lord shows me how you need to start making space for for new, newness in your life be best Hey, um, Lisa, uh, the Lord shows me keys of revelation that He's releasing to you and He wants you to declare. And so sometimes uh, we, we keep quiet and we wait on the Lord, but then when He gives us the keys and He gives us the revelation, then we need to speak it into existence and take that steps of obedience. And I felt that the Lord says He is putting a, a prophet uh, anointing on your life to declare the word of the Lord and the word will not fall to the ground. Lisa, the Lord loves you very much. Okay, so next word is for uh, Anne-Marie. Okay, so Anne-Marie, the Lord shows me a ticket of admission. And you know, like uh, when you need to go to somewhere or a place or you want to go and study at the university or you need to get a, uh, a work position, I just felt that the Lord says, with your call, what He has called you to do, with the giftings that He's given to you, He gives you a ticket of admission. And so you've been faithful to train, to get educated, but now I felt that the Lord says, you are approved. 
and then the Lord show, showed me how he brings you to a higher frequency. Now, you know, when they have some instruments, uh, when they play, they can put it on a, a certain frequency that's not a very godly frequency. And then they got a, a, another frequency that's definitely that frequency of uh, God uh, and people experience healing. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says that he brings up your frequency, the level of joy, the level of Holy Spirit flowing through your life, your sensitivity to the voice of God and to even the angelic around your life and so the Lord says I'm bringing up your frequency uh, because I want you to function optimally in this new place of your call that I've, uh, uh, I've, I've opened up to you God bless you amen this next word is for Shirley the Lord shows me how you need to I just see how your feet are just walking and the Lord shows me how stay on the path with him don't don't stray from the path the, the Lord shows me he shows me the narrow road and he says stay on this path stay stay um headstrong in me and in my word and i see how you need to really get in the word of god and not just take it for for okay i've read my bible but take it for what it is there is power in his word and when we declare it over ourselves i just see the lord giving you giving you scripture that you can cling on to and then when times are, are tough you can remember this is the word of god and this is his promise to me be blessed Hey, uh, Shirley, uh, God bless you. Uh, the Lord gave me second chances for you. And I just felt that the Lord is going to provide for you with your finances. In the Bible, it says there, give us today our da daily bread. Is that a prayer in, in Matthew 6, uh, where the Lord teach them to pray the Lord's prayer. And he says, you must ask the Lord for your daily bread. And that's the provision that you need uh, for your life. And I felt that the Lord is just reminding you that he will be faithful to provide for you. And he is giving you a second chance. All right. God bless you, um, Shirley. So, Hilary, uh, the Lord is showing to me uh, a black cloth that was over you. And it's like a mourning cloth. As if you have lost your trauma. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons uh, to cry. Uh, and the Lord is putting his anointing oil on you. And he's helping you to take you through the morning until you are completely healed and restored and then i see a new day and then when you walked into the new day you had a a wedding veil over you a white cloth of a veil uh, of a new covenant uh, of a new provision of a new call of a new relationship that the lord is releasing into you and just like uh, the veil is lifted uh, of a, a bride when she gets married i see how the lord lifted the veil uh, uh, off of your face and how you walked into a new covenant and uh, a new day that the lord has for your life god bless you amen this next word is for enos uh, the Lord shows me open doors and the Lord shows me how he will make a way and that you don't need to fear. I, I, I see how, how you are just holding on to the Lord, that you are not, that you don't need to hold on to, for others. The Lord shows me how he has given you support systems, but he is saying that he wants you to come to him and hold on to him and really sit in the authority that the Lord has given you. Sit in that seat of rest and be yoked with the Lord. To know that your plan is not the right plan. When we are yoked, we are following the Lord. We are following the, the oxen. And you are the little oxen who wants to go that way. And that way you must say, no, I am, I'm, I'm yoked with the Lord. And I will follow where he is leading me. Be blessed. Okay. Um, so the Lord is, is, is showing to me how you walk with him. And how he makes a supernatural provision for you in a dry place. Uh, in the Bible, we see Isaac. And how the Lord multiplied him and increased his prosperity and his wealth in the midst of a famine. And I felt that the Lord says, although you find yourself in a famine, don't say to yourself, I need to go somewhere else where there's more resources. The Lord says, right there where you are, I'm going to connect you with my economy and I'm going to bless you in the midst of a dry place. Okay. God bless you. Hey, family, it was a pleasure for me and Kimberly uh, to minister to each one of you. Uh, I have a channel called unity with heaven where i post teachings about two three times a week so you can see here some of the teachings and i'm going to put the link to that channel in the first comment uh, of this video so that you can go there and you can check out my teachings and you can also subscribe 
Also, if you would like to receive ministry in this format, please write your name in the comments. Uh, me and Kimi both love and we appreciate each one of you. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here. Yeah.